so hello to all so now we'll talk about the space maintainers remember the space maintainer is a part of preventive orthodontics and space regainer is a interceptive orthodontics so who is the best space maintainer remember your natural tooth but with proper mesodistal diameter is the best space maintainer so whenever any carious tooth come to you it requires a proper pulp therapy and proper restoration in the form of crown why crown by giving the crown we establish the proper mesodistal width then which are the common causes of space loss remember premature extraction and interproximal caries whenever the interproximal caries will be there the space loss will occur the migration of teeth will occur then the force is acting on tooth there are the various forces acting on tooth like the muscular forces act on the tooth eruptive forces acting on the tooth and also occlusal forces so all these forces contribute to the space loss then whether to give or not to give the space maintainer i made one shortcut that is a date d a t e that is first of all you should know the dental age of patient as you know the nola a stage there is a two third of root development occurs at that time your tooth will erupt then also the amount of bone covering the unerupted tooth remember tooth takes at least 4 to 5 months to travel 1 mm of bone so whenever you see the uh, 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 permanent tooth okay after extra permanent tooth if there is a no bone covering don't just think that okay the tooth will come also check the root development then third factor comes the times elapsed since tooth loss so maximum space loss according to latest concept occur in within first 8 hours and maximum space loss occur when there is the loss of second deciduous molar then also the eruption of neighboring tooth whenever there is active eruption of first molar and you have lost e or d the space loss will be maximum then comes prerequisites for your uh, space maintainers radiograph and the impression and model analysis so here we can study the one model analysis there is a tanaka johnson analysis in this the mandibular comes remember you have to add 10.5 and for maxilla you have to add 11 See, in maxilla double L will come. That stands for the eleven. So it's very simple formula. One half of mesodistal width of lower four incisors plus ten point five gives you the mandibular teeth sizes. And for maxillary, it is a half mesodistal width of lower four incisors plus eleven give you mandibular teeth sizes. Then comes the classification of space maintainers. So according to Hitchcock, it is a removable or fixed or semi-fixed space maintainer. Then with bands or without bands, functional or non-functional, active or passive. and combinations of the above then according to raymond thoreau it is removable or complete arch we can see lingual arch or few space maintainer require extra oral anchorage and also the individual tooth then according to henry sir it is a fixed appliances and removable fixer of two type class 1 and class 2 and removable is your acrylic partial dentures then these are the examples of your fixed space maintainer you have to just Uh, no it once because in exam they can ask like mandibular lingual arch palatal arch distal shoe applies this all are example of fixed space maintainer for example if a question comes which of the following is a fixed space maintainer so you should know these are your fixed space maintainers then comes a removable it can be of free type like cast partial or rod partial active or passive functional can be unilateral or bilateral or non functional then what are the steps in space maintainer fabrication a very important mcq you should follow the steps at first is apply elastic separation then go for the band preparation impression making then you have to fabricate the indicated or the needed space maintainer shouldering and polishing delivery of the appliance and the follow up okay so remember after elastic separators come the band preparation okay never make mistake in this then comes type of band material most important mcq for anterior teeth is 003 for pica speed 004 for primary molar 005 and for permanent molar it is 006 then there are few steps that's a band impression you have to stabilize the band and then the bands on the cast so now during which condition which space maintainer you have to give so first of all before going to this clinical scenario i will tell the steer it Then remember that before the eruption of your upper or lower incisors, the ideal space maintainer is band and loop. After the eruption of your lower incisors, the space maintainer is lingual arch, and after the eruption of your upper incisor, the space maintainer is nonspalatal arch or transpalatal arch. Remember, if there is a loss of tooth on both side, you have to give nonspalatal arch. 
if there is a loss of tooth only on one side you have to give the transparental arch so you can see in the diagram here there is a premature loss of deciduous molar unitary or bilaterally before eruption of permanent incisors you have to give the band and loop then come clinical scenario three here the permanent incisors have been erupted and both side you, get, you have the tooth loss so either space maintainer is non-spiratal arch then here only one side of the area the tooth loss is there and the other side is intact so the space maintainer is transparatal arch in lower if there is a bilateral or unilateral tooth loss the ideal space maintainer is lingual arch then come the distal space maintainer it is also known as eruption guidance appliance it is used as space maintainer to influence the active eruption of first permanent molar in a distal direction okay so it is indicated when you when the patient loses the e that is the second deciduous molar before the eruption of first permanent molar it was introduced by the villet at the time he has given the bar type of extension roche has given the v type of extension fine the most important mcq they ask that what should be the depth of this bar remember it should be 1 to 1.5 mm below your mesial marginal ridge so you can see here it is 1 to 1.5 mm below the mesial marginal ridge of the permanent molar then this just to time pass a stupid space maintainer joke then comes the anterior fixed space maintainer normally when we extract the anterior tooth we never give the space maintainer remember the anterior teeth have a two function in the children first is aesthetic and second is the speech development when we talk our tongue will touch the anterior tooth okay so there is a lingo dental sounds so those children who don't have the proper uh, anterior teeth or loss of anterior teeth in the early age they have a difficulty in speech in future so for such patient we can give such appliance known as the groper appliance then the latest space maintainer that is known as a glass fiber reinforced composite space maintainer here the steps is given there is a first ribbon fiber is cut then the ribbon fiber is wetted with the unfilled resin and adapted in the form of loop and then with the help of composite it is cued so this is the finished frc space maintainer then comes the space regainers it is the interceptive orthodontics so three important space regainer i have explained there is a gerber space regainer it is a unilateral space regainer it helps to move the anterior tooth mesially and posterior tooth distally then comes the hall's lingual arch there is a lingual arch with u it is a bilateral space regainer it helps for the distal movement of permanent molars then comes the lip bumper it is a bilateral space maintainer it is used only when the lower first molar has drifted mesially okay but the canines and premolars have not shift, shifted distal so friend that was all about the space maintainers and the space regainers so you should know the difference between both of them where it is indicated and important associated points thank you for patient hearing